So what's up? What's the deal, guys? Welcome to JA News. It's up. So we got a little controversy surrounding this recent Travis Scott release. It looks like sneakerheads are calling BS, but will they actually do anything about it? We also got some big changes coming to the industry as it looks like Adidas as well as Reebok are making some major changes to their leadership. And we got an insane rumor that's starting to pick up some steam and it's about Ye's big comeback. So stay tuned, guys. We got all that plus the latest and greatest in sneaker news and updates and it's coming right up next. All right, all right, so I know you guys got used to the daily uploads, but unfortunately, I caught a little bug. But today, you know, we're fighting through it to give you guys the latest updates here in sneakers. It's also gonna be my birthday weekend, so depending on how I'm feeling, I'm gonna try to get some investigative reporting going on, try to get some footage, see what people are rocking on feet in Miami. So if you're rocking with JA News, make sure you smash the like button. Now, to kick off today's show, we're gonna start with a little controversy. This is surrounding the recent Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Golf release so of course they are dropping via the sneakers app tomorrow but of course in typical travis scott fashion they had a little pre-release you know via travis's site now everybody knows these little pre-releases are damn near impossible to cop but it looks like for this release it looks like nobody actually got a w at all except for it looks like our boy rafi collects he actually posted to twitter stating thank you travis scott's team for reaching out i've been working hard on streams on youtube and never thought a brand would reach out like this Bless. So salute to our guy Rafi. He got a W on these blessed by Travis's team. And this is a lesson and testimony to what hard work, you know, when you guys grind and put in the work, this is how you get blessed. But it seems like the sneaker community wasn't really feeling this. As I mentioned earlier, it looks like everybody took an L on these except for some select influencers. So we got this one stating they look hella fake, referring to the email address. So it looks like a lot of people are hating. We got this person saying, so Travis's team gave pairs to influencers during the raffle and asked them to post their Ws. No hate to those influencers. But there, was, but there being practically no public Ws from the raffle, Travis's team forgot there's an entire sneaker community that can see through the BS. Backdoor all you want, but don't announce something that's for everyone when it actually isn't. Now, with this statement right here, I feel like this is a little more constructive criticism than just straight up hating on our guy Rafi, but I definitely do agree with him. I feel like when it comes to these releases, you know, it's pretty much the same old game that we're seeing every time. They make these extremely limited just to, you know, boost up the demand and bring more hype to Travis's brand as well as to the Nike sneakers app. And I feel like as sneakerheads and sneaker community, I feel like the only thing that we can really do to stop this it's just not by these Travises when they come out tomorrow. But of course, as we know, that ain't happening. I feel like when it comes to this release, probably like 10% of the people going for these are actually looking to grab these to rock on the golf course. While I feel like the other 90% is just looking to grab these to flip to the next person. So I feel like when it comes to these limited sneaker releases, it's just starting to get kind of played out. I mean, I know everybody wants something that's limited that other people don't have. And kids, you know, they don't want to rock sneakers that other people are calling bricks but this whole little limited game is getting played out i talked to you guys about it like with the whole jam releases this is just getting old and i feel like uh when it comes to the future of sneakers we got to make these releases a lot more accessible to people and stop with all the gimmicks and the games let me know what you guys think all right and also dropping tomorrow we got a low-key collab releasing from new balance who has teamed up with c-a-y-l climb as you love an outdoor lifestyle brand for their new balance 610 model so of course this is a more tech inspired version taking the 610 back to its trail roots and i'm a big fan of this furry suede that they used on these these joints are dropping tomorrow the 13th for a retail of 160. and speaking of new balance it looks like we got an update on their carhartt collab which it looks like they have officially announced will be titled sculpture center so it looks like the two are pairing up for the new balance 990 v6 and it seems like off the early impressions sneakerheads are really feeling these and kind of feel like this is a more organic collaboration so be on the lookout for these to drop on the 20th via New Balance as well as Carhartt and select retailers for 220. And as for Nike, it looks like images have leaked for their upcoming social status collaboration. So this will now be the third time that the pair have teamed up for the Nike Mac attack. This colorway will be called Cobblestone. And out of all of the colorways so far, I would probably say these joints right here are my favorite, probably because I always love an age looking sneaker. So no word on when these will officially drop, but expect the retail to be 140 bucks. And speaking Speaking of social status, it looks like the Jordan Amamanier airship will be restocking. So if you guys missed 
out on these the first time, you have another chance coming up on the 21st. And I gotta say, I'm a fan of Nike bringing back some of these different, more rare retro models out the vault. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm kinda tired of seeing the same models from Nike all the time. And if they're not gonna bring anything new to the table, they might as well bring back some of these more odd and forgotten models. That way, the newer generation can appreciate some of these classics. And we got some big changes coming to the footwear industry as recently Reebok has announced that Shaquille O'Neal will be the new brand president of basketball. Now Shaq, he originally signed his endorsement deal with Reebok back in 92 during his rookie season with the Orlando Magic. And at the time, I believe this was Reebok's biggest endorsement deal ever, which definitely paid off for them in the long run. Nowadays, Shaq, he's more known for his affordable footwear with companies like Payless or Walmart. So I feel like this is a great move by Reebok. And on top of that, they've announced that Allen Iverson will be named as the vice president of basketball. So even though Reebok has kind of fallen out of relevancy, I feel like these moves, they're making the right steps to come back. So I feel like these moves won't really impact the brand until like, let's say 2025, but it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, what new basketball models Reebok will be bringing to the table. And remember, they got so many great classic 90s models that they could also bring back recently. They brought back those Emmett Smith joints. So I'm excited to see, you know, what they will bring to the table. And let me ask you guys, heading into the future is Reebok gonna make a big comeback. All right, and before we get up out of here, we gotta talk about these yay rumors. So we've already known new music is on the way, but there's been rumors about this big performance that yay has been planning in Italy, possibly a listening party for the new album. These rumors are starting to pick up steam. So I found this over on Reddit, salute to the good ass sub who has translated an article from Ansa, who is apparently one of Italy's most reliable news sources. So the article reads, only the official announcement and above all, a confirmed date are missing for Kanye's concert at the RCF Arena in Reggio Emilia, but the city seems to be all set. According to the local edition, the American rapper has reportedly already rented cars with tinted windows for transportation in the city and hotels have been pre-alerted for overnight stays for his crew, including musicians, entourage, and technicians. So it also reads the stage for the big event is almost set up after days of relentless work. The question of the date remains. So last week, the date of October 13th had been circulating in the American artist's live performance, but everything fell through due to a lack of agreement between him and the organizers and the tight deadline for public order and safety reasons. The most likely options are now Friday, October 20th or Monday, October 20th. 30th. There's a little more to the article, but it's really nothing relevant. So this is why we could possibly see Ye do a live listening party for his new upcoming album. So according to this article, it looks like they're already working on the stage, um, but the dates have been kind of pushed back because all of this happening, you know, in such a short amount of time, it's kind of been a little bit of a crunch to, you know, make everything happen at once. So let me ask you guys, are you guys already grabbing your tickets for Italy? I mean, just chill. I wouldn't take this as fact right now, but it seems like with these rumors and this being an official news source in Italy, it looks like this may be happening. So are you guys gonna be flying out to Italy? It'll also be dope to see if they do a live stream, but all I know guys, it's an exciting time to be a Ye fan. He's been silent and I feel like the music, you know, is gonna be coming out soon. So let me know what you guys think about this. We're not gonna get too excited about this till we get some more official confirmation from either Ye or somebody on his team. But for now, the rumors are heating up and it's looking like this could actually be a thing. So let me know what you guys think about this as well as all of the topics covered and hopefully tomorrow you know we'll have a new update on this whole yay situation so we're gonna wrap things up right here make sure you guys stay safe stay blessed i'm ja and i'll catch you guys tomorrow for the latest edition of ja news love